Hello everyone. It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. It's that time of the week again. The good old Friday. Well, somebody's Friday. It's not my Friday because my, my work week starts on Friday. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about you. It is time for the weekend. Top and bottom of the deck reading. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It is still cancer season, so cancer is a water sign. I will start with the water signs and go around the wheel that way. Try to keep the readings as short and sweet as possible. It might take five minutes. It might take 15. I don't know. It all depends on what messages come through and how clear and how much I have to clarify. Same deal as a general sun sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It is up to you what you do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. Time and energy are both fluid and cross watchers are always welcome. So without further ado, water sign friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, let's get it going for you. Some crap off my table here. The Five of Wands and the Temperance in the Reverse. There be spats. Fighting, arguing, negative energy flow. Y'all just ain't getting along right now. What happened? Two of Pentacles in the upright, Six of Wands in the Reverse. Two sides of every story, aren't there? But of course someone has to lose the argument, don't they? We'll get clarity on that in a second. It's like the scales of justice. I, I keep hearing scales of justice and I don't know why because it's not a justice card. What happened after that? Ten of Wands reversed in the Five of Pentacles. Home. Someone was left hanging on to a burden. Someone got left out in the cold. Could have been the same person. Hmm. Okay. Someone may have something they need to get off their chest there. It's coming in for this weekend. Oh, well. The healing and the rebuilding of the tower. The star in the upright, the tower in the reverse. Okay. Huh. More positive energy flow coming in this weekend. Maybe you'll patch things up, get things back together. Called for a clarifier. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please? Why is two of pentacles here? Hmm. 
Two of Cups reversed. Duh. One more. There was a disconnect. Duh. Sometimes happens after spats and negative energy flow. Eight of Cups. There was a disconnect. You parted ways. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Thank you. Four of Pentacles in the upright. Someone lost the argument. Held held a lot of things in. Held a lot of things in. One more. Oh. Karma reversed comes out. Hearing someone held it in and laid in wait. Not wanting not wanting the chapter to end. Okay. Why's the Ten of Wands reverse chair? if they come back out. One card, please. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles comes back out. Someone holding onto a burden, trying to keep their balance. Attempting to be fair, possibly. Still very much connected. Okay, give me two. Five of swords. Eight of wands reversed. Trying to pick up the pieces, but not getting anywhere. Spinning your wheels. No communication. Why is five pentacles here? Someone may have gotten booted out in the cold because of a lack of trust. One more. Eight of Pentacles did some self work. That's cool. That's cool. What else are you going to do while you're getting booted out in the cold? you got to do some self-work. Okay. Okay. Fast forward to this weekend. Why is the star here? Ooh. 
Ooh, they landed in spend. Five of Cups, Hangman reversed, King of Cups, the healing's coming. There was sadness, there was an inability to accept the fate of the situation. There was a great deal of love here, a great deal of emotion. Maybe a Pisces. chariot forward movement I don't know these horses are trying to split this chariot in two King of Wands, forward movement, healing, right on. Self-love, that's awesome. Why is the tower reversed here? Two of Wands. Letting go of the past, moving forward to the future, building that tower the way you want it. Right on, Water Signs. You're moving forward. You don't need all that argumentative negative energy. You need to play with someone that you have positive energy flow with. Nine of Wands reversed. Throwing in the towel. Rising up out of the ashes, building that tower the way you want it built. Too many. One more and we'll get some advice. Oh wow, 12 minutes, holy cow. The lovers comes out. Some of you may have a new connection coming in. Very nice. Could be a Gemini. Some of you could be letting down the walls with an old connection. But I don't see any cards of return. But the possibility is always there, isn't it? Okay. Two cards of advice from our water sign friends. One off the top, one off the bottom. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Six of Pentacles in the upright. If they do come back, if, unless they come back with an apology and with fair and equal treatment in the relationship second part of the advice the world in the upright the four of swords in the reverse close the chapter and don't get all restless about it wow okay Her the high priest in the reverse the three of wands in the reverse Ten of Wands reversed, Nine of Cups. You have to release this burden to find your happiness.
This may not have been meant to be. It may have just been a soul lesson. You can choose to wait around for it if you want to. Or you can choose to walk away. It's up to you. Wow, water signs. There's good news coming for you. Sorry you had to go through this. If it was your story, it was your story. If it wasn't, it wasn't. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Give that a quick shuffle. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's coming in for you guys this weekend. The Empress and Strength. Well. That's growth. That's trust. That's a wild weekend. Okay. In the past, we have a tower and a queen of swords. That's a falling out. Possibly with someone you have a family with. Could be a Leo. Could be a Gemini, Taurus. Hmm. The storm came in, the tower fell, someone had to make a logical decision being honest with himself. Someone potentially had to get cut out of somebody else's life. What happened next? The Lovers and the Five of Swords Reversed. That's a soulmate card. I'm dealing with soulmate. That's two. That's two. I'm trying to pick up pieces. Couldn't pick them up. Powerful connection. You both felt it. But you just couldn't pick the pieces up after the tower fell. Okay. It's coming in for this weekend. The nine of pentacles in the upright and the cherry in the reverse. Just when you say to yourself, you're good on your own. You got this. You don't need nobody. You're strong. Independent someone comes back. Hmm. Let's get some clarity. Okay. You know that's when it happens, right? 
the universe is always listening and it hears you it may not give you what you want when you want it the universe doesn't work on our timing it works on its timing his timing however you want to however you want to word it however you want to look at it however you want to view it I'm not here to get into a theological debate with anybody. All things in the heavens work in mysterious ways. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table from our fire sign friends, please? I don't need to clarify the tower. Why is Queen of Swords here? He gave me three. Eight of Swords reversed, Three of Cups reversed, Two of Wands reversed, Three reversed cards. There was a disconnect. Someone just tried to put it out of their head. That's not even putting somebody in the friend zone. That's like, we ain't talking, we ain't chill. We are not okay. But somebody couldn't let go of the past. Somebody still held onto that wand, refused to move forward. Okay. All right. I'm not going to clarify the lovers. Why is the Five of Swords here? Ace of Cups. <clears throat> we couldn't pick the pieces up. We may have started seeing other people. Seven of Swords pops out. Hmm. May have been some sneaky lies and deception going on. Maybe y'all try it again. But it fell apart. Mm. Because of lies and deception, take it over resonates. I'm not here to judge anybody. Nope. Two of Swords, Nine of Wands. Someone had to take a blindfold off, see it as what it was. Walls and barriers go up. There's lies and deception. It's also a card of one last push, one last try. Maybe someone got back on the horse a little bit too soon. Again, take it however resonates. Five of Swords in the upright comes out. An attempt to pick the pieces up and start over. Hmm. 
That's that's strange, fire signs. Splits the story a little bit, doesn't it? I know why that Nine of Pentacles is there. You're good on your own. You don't need anybody else. One last push, you pick up the pieces, you're done. And then there's a return. Um, I'm not going to guarantee that it's the same person you dealt with up here. Or the person you may or may not have dealt with here. But there's a soulmate coming back. Could have been, oh gosh, karmic. The Wheel of Fortune comes out. Someone is making a return tip the karmic scales complete a cycle you may be going back to school this weekend fire signs seven of wands hmm that card can mean a lot of things you could be Confronted with something that you've held deep inside. Fire signs do that. We tuck it away. We tuck it away. Ace of Wands reverse flies out. Maybe a match from the past that didn't strike. One more. You might not move forward with it. Ace of Pentacles reversed comes out with the Three of Wands reversed. stop there with this one get your advice some tells me you're gonna tell that house plan to walk itself back out on the back porch hmm. if this is someone you've already dealt with I don't think you're quite ready for that seed to sprout because you already don't walked away from the dock on this one or they walked away from the dock somebody didn't want to wait and somebody's gonna be like you know what I waited long enough Go. I don't want this. I don't know. It's a return coming nonetheless. Oh crap. Put that back the way it was. I'm getting advice. Page of Cups. Seven of Swords. If you decide to take the cup, you better know what's in that cup. Because it could be a cup full of lies and deception. And if you're going to be given a cup, you be straight about what's in the cup. You know what I'm saying? Emperor in the reverse. King of Wands in the upright. Don't let your feelings get away from you. If they left you vulnerable and all up in your shell and they come poking a stick in your shell, don't bite them. Be kind. Don't be confrontational. It's going to be your first instinct, but don't do it. the chariot and the three of pentacles it may be best to attempt to distance yourself from it and keep it that way physically emotionally mentally however you got to do it and concentrate on the foundations 
for your own abundance in your own life. Five of Pentacles reversed, hanged men. Two seconds. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. If they come back with an apology, and it's true, and they mean it, and they've been able to see things from your point of view, it may be okay to let the house plant stay in the house. All right. Fire signs, that's what I have for you. What do you need? Okay, thank you. I'm reading. Okay. You could have just left him on the bed. Please don't judge me. get interrupted all the time. It drives me crazy. Okay. Earth sign friend, Taurus Vero Capricorn. What do we have for you this weekend? Let's shuffle these back in. trying to come out. The Prince of Swords keeps trying to come out. Let's see if it comes back out and what it has to say. If it does. Some of you may be spying or being spied on. If that's the case. We'll see if it comes back out. The Devil and the Fool. I just have this image of a cliff with a giant sign that says, no diving, rocks on bottom of water. That's your card, by the way, Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn, could be an Aries you're dealing with. There's a giant red flag here. And I think somebody may have jumped anyway. We'll see what happened. Or is about to jump. Thinking about jumping. In the process of jumping. Queen of Wands upright. King of Swords upright. Okay. That's an odd couple. One was about fiery passion and forward movement. Very intuitive. Knows what she wants. Goes after it and gets it. And the other one. Smart. Sensible. Logical. Honest. I'm not going to say negate of all emotion, but not the most emotional guy in the world.
you put them together. That's a very odd couple. Maybe even a little bit of a recipe for disaster. I'm going to leave that one alone. What happened next? Oh. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords in reverse. There is a great deal of... Well, there's like court cards on my board right now. There's majors and court cards. This may be a message for someone very specific. I don't know. If you're watching, cool. If anybody can take something out of this, please do. But it's up to you ultimately. This beautiful woman holding this giant cup of love. She's like mom. It, it's cookies and milk at grandma's. It's love. It's abundance of love. And then there's this queen of swords reversed. Attitude problem and a half. Wow. She is not happy. What's coming in for this weekend? Then we're going to get some clarity. Eight of cups, eight of wands. Hmm. There's that cliff again. Someone may be making an expedient exit this weekend. Mm. Let's get some clarity from my earth sign friends. I've never gotten a vibe like this before. This is, this is weird. Why the Queen of Wands? One card, please. Okay, give me two. Four of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed. Restless Energy. Someone now listening to their intuition. Fiery, passionate, go-getter, independent. Restless energy. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? Empress. She's a catch and a half. 
She's the one you want to have a family with. Page of Cups, reversed. So there was the potential for abundance, but someone's not speaking their someone's not speaking their feelings. Somebody may have been getting restless about it. Okay. And you may have been dealing with it depends on who's who here. I mean, it's hard to say who's who at this point. Someone was either being the logical one who, you know, doesn't deal with emotions well, very cut and dry, and feeling it but not saying it, or you're either doing it or dealing with it, and you weren't happy about it, you got restless about it, you weren't listening to your intuition about it, whoever's who here. Okay. It's a mishmash of energies. Why is the Queen of Cups here? King of Cups reversed. Again, feeling it but not showing it. Feeling it but not showing it. Not expressing it. Why is the Queen of Swords reversed here? Thanks. Five of Cups reversed. Angry. Cutting somebody out. Not feeling bad about it. You kicked my cups over, I'm going to kick your cups over. Either you're not feeling bad about it at all, or you're feeling so miserable about it, that's why you have the bad attitude. Whoever I'm talking to, Earth sign of the cross watcher, because you know everybody's always welcome here. I read from both sides of the coin both sets of eyes and it's very draining to be perfectly honest with you okay why is the eight of cups here the eight of cups is the moving on card it's the packing your bags and moving on painfully one card of clarity from our earth sign friends I think somebody jumped into something toxic and they knew it and they jumped anyway. I think it was a very powerful connection, possibly a little something, something going on, know what I'm saying? Very powerful, very binding. Maybe you got yourself into a situation where it had to be binding, you know, culturally or otherwise, at belief systems. I, I have all kinds of viewers, so you jumped anyway. Or this happened very quickly and you just jumped and yeah. Walking away, this, the foundation is stable. Four of Wands reversed. Foundation is unstable. The tower is falling. You are walking away from the rubble. <coughs> Making an expedient exit. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Nine of Cups, yep. Making an expedient exit, reading all four of them together, doing what fills your cups and makes you happy. And possibly being very vocal about it. Okay. Possibly.
Your advice. King of Pentacles reversed in judgment. Is something is not all it's cracked up to be. That's another major arcana, or major arcana, another court card, by the way. Something or a situation, a person is not all it's cracked up to be. It may be time to close the chapter on it. King of Wands, court card. Alchemist reversed. Maybe time to cut those manipulative puppet strings and take control back. I'm not saying to have a straight up physical throwdown by any means, but you got to take control back of your life and start stealing your own car again. Know what I'm saying? Mm. Page of Swords reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed. Huh. This is probably the first time I'm going to disagree with the cards, but I'm going to say what the cards are saying. It's not my own personal opinion, but I'm just here to read cards. If they're not saying it, it's probably not equal. Temperance in the upright, three of pentacles in the reverse. It may be better to wait for energy flows to be more positive before you try to lay a foundation with someone. Or if you're going to lay a foundation with someone, don't jump. Make sure the energy flow is positive. Don't jump into things. Is pretty much the lesson here, earth signs. That's what I'm getting out of it. Don't jump. I'm not saying odd couple relationships don't work out. Sometimes they work out pretty well. But we're not all the same. Sometimes they work out well. Sometimes they don't work out at all. But before you jump into something, you better know the person. My air sign friends. This is probably going to be over an hour today. Wow. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strength in the reverse, four of pentacles in the reverse. Some of you may be just drained and ready to let loose. You can't hold on to it anymore. Holding on to it has become too draining, you are letting go. Okay. In the past, we have the moon and the nine of cups. Secrets, lies, deception, skewed perceptions, things not being as they appeared, cups getting kicked over, possibly someone filling their cups with the wrong kind of things, 
negative behaviors. Could have been a situation of someone out doing things that they shouldn't have been doing and not exactly being honest about it. Take it however it resonates. What happened next? Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. Someone had to deal with some inner demons. That cat is ready to pounce. See that cat? That cat's ready to pounce. Battling enemies you can't see. But they're there. They're very much there. Eight of Swords, some of you could have been consumed by it. The enemies in the cage is all in your head. May have been from holding on to something too long. Maybe just because you're drained. It's coming in for this weekend. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords reversed. Oh my. an olive branch. That's an olive branch of truth. Hmm. Some of you may have an apology coming in this weekend. Leaving those two alone. I didn't ask for a card yet. Eight of Cups. Someone perhaps had to move on painfully. Release something. And it was draining, or because it was draining. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to clarify that. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Page of Cups. Lack of emotional fulfillment, trying to build a foundation. Trying to give those little messages of love and maybe you're being ignored for whatever reason. Things were not as they appeared in this connection. They were not as they appeared at all. All 
I'm not going to go into that any further. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Thanks. Eight of Wands. Communications. The Tower. Communications, text messages, phone calls. This happened abruptly. Someone may have been battling some inner demons and that's what brought the tower down. Maybe the inner demons was the thing that you didn't know about. The lies and deception. One more on that. The moon, the moon comes back out. Why is Eight of Swords here? Thanks. Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. You're all up in your head. You're consumed. You were consumed. It was draining you. Oh, wow. Eight and four is 12. One and two is three. That's heartbreaking. My numerology gears start going when I start reading the cards. I'm sorry. Six of Pentacles reversed comes back out. This was not equal. Maybe some of you wondered why you gave and 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 you did not get a payback on your investment. And I'm talking emotional payback on an emotional investment. I think you invested a lot of emotions into this, trying to build a foundation. And your cups just got knocked over. Why is Page of Pentacles here coming into this weekend? Why is Page of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords reversed. Mm. Something that's going to put an end to the sleepless nights. Ten of Cups. They want to fill all ten of your cups. Wow. It's joyous. That's a hell of an apology. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed here? Page of Swords coming back with the truth. The hermit kind of out. Maybe they've had some time to introspect, see the inner light. They realize what they got to do. They got to come back and come clean. Might be a Virgo you're dealing with. Could be. I got just about everybody on the board at this point. Ace of Pentacles reversed, but I don't... I don't see you bringing that house plant back in just yet. Um, I don't see you doing anything with the seed. I think they're going to hand it to you, but I don't think you're going to know what to do with it. They ripped you. They ripped you apart. They had you up at night. They had you battling your own inner demons. 
They, they messed you up. Maybe they're the ones that walked away and left you drained. Your advice. Three of swords. Three of swords popped up. And the eight of wands reversed. It may be best. If it still hurts to just leave it alone for a while. To not move forward with it. To not be so quick to communicate. It still hurts. Which I'm sure it does. It's up to you what you do with it. Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. It may be possible to rebuild this foundation on love. It may be possible. It may be possible to come back together. And to make this work again. But you have to be open to it. It may be a little bit difficult to be open to it if you're still in pain. Mm. I hate crappy advice from the cards. Personally, I wouldn't touch it with a 39 and a half foot pole, but I'm I'm a Sagittarius. Once I get wounded, I am wounded for life. But that's just me. I'm not an air sign. Temperance in the reverse and the emperor. If there is even a little bit of negative energy flow or a little bit of overblown control freak ego. Death card in the upright, two of cups in the reverse. Maybe time to close the chapter and let it disconnect. It's up to you what you do with this apology if it comes in. It's up to you what you do with the truth if it comes in. It's up to you. I'm not you. I can't tell you what to do. And really neither can the cards. It's up to you what you do with the messages that you are given. I'm not taking any liability on your free will. Just so we're clear on that. Okay. My friends, thanks for stopping by for the hour and three minutes I had you tied up today if you sat through the whole thing. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. We'll catch you guys on Monday. Sunday night, Monday morning, you know. We'll see how froggy I feel. For the work week, top and bottom of the deck, I'm hoping to have the last three signs right over the weekend so you guys can have your messages for July. And I have a personal book that, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get to today because this took longer than I thought it was going to. But just know that you're appreciated. Thank you so much. Be blessed. I'll catch you guys Monday.